Hi everybody and welcome into my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in if you're new here. My name is Bloom and welcome to Blooming Woman. And for all my returning subscribers, welcome back into another video. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. It's always appreciated. So much gratitude for you guys for always showing up and always trying to support my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. Today's video is gonna be about the frog. This is one that actually is medicine. This is the first animal totem that I'm doing that I can see it's accurate to actually put frog medicine in the title, okay? Because that's exactly what it is. This animal comes in to bring upon healing, to bring upon transformation. It even has healing properties, okay? And we'll get to all of that in a second here. So I'm going to be telling you guys about all the things it means when you see the frog animal inside of your life. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn about the frog animal. So the frog is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creature. One that I used to get scared of when I was little and run away from and my brother would actually chase me with the frog. Little did I know that this frog would actually be a significance in my life. This frog would actually have some kind of symbolism before it. And occult knowledge. What is occult knowledge, right? Like what is this? It is really coming into your life, okay? The frog to tell you that you're in a stage in your life where there's going to be an extreme change and it's a real change on an emotional level it's a change on you growing on an individual level okay this frog comes into your life to tell you that you're going to have to heal because the frog brings upon healing and some of the reasons why the frog brings upon healing inside of your life is because of the frog's energy and the frog characteristics. So what frogs do is they actually have the ability to heal as well. Inside of South America, there is actually something called cambo. Okay, this is the frog. It's a specific type of tree frog, okay? A specific type of tree frog where they actually scrape the poison off of the frog's back without killing it. And they actually go ahead and create that and then make it a resin and they'll basically bore holes into your um, skin that sounds very painful but it's not that painful I've actually had it done um, two different sessions before and they leave a little marking on your body I have it along my back along my chakras and stuff like that but basically they'll just poke a hole just to get the little just to get the first layer of skin off okay no blood no nothing and what they'll do is they'll put the frog poison from the tree frog onto the wound so it directly gets into the tissue and it does get into the bloodstream. You would think, what in the world? That's poison. That's going to hurt me. That's going to possibly make me, um, you know, that's going to kill me. You know what I mean? And it does have that ability to actually hurt you. It does have that ability to make you go through pain. It does have that ability to make you go through emotional turmoil. But it, what it's doing is it actually makes you purge. When you do the Campbell medicine, frog medicine, this medicine actually makes you purge. It makes you release emotional tension, emotional stress, emotional blockages. You will feel your chakras um, start to align. You will feel your energy start to get lighter. And you will first have to go through a deep healing you know, experience. And you will purge and throw up all, it will take all types of energetic blockages out of you and actually take all types of different you know ailments and stuff like that lurking negative energies that are deep within your body and actually you know so much that they're now turned into actual physical ailments it can get rid of that you can get rid of a lot of things or at least try to lessen a lot of things that i won't go too deep on into this video because i don't want youtube to flag me because they're really weird now with their stuff and people trying to say helpful things especially when it comes to health but all in all this is what the frog actually 
it has this capability of doing. It has this characteristic of actually making you go through healing process. And when you see a frog inside of your life, when you see it and you feel like this frog is trying to tell you something, like it's a messenger, like it has some kind of um, guidance to provide for you, or if you just see it over and over again, it does have a message for you for sure. And it's also basically there to tell you that you're about to go through some type of healing. Frogs live inside the element of water, okay? They're born in water and they actually live around water. They come out when it starts to rain, that's when they come out. And otherwise they're always around water, right? So they're very in touch with the water element. The water element is essentially what created them. It is essentially a lot of the makeup of its characteristics and its symbolism. So when you talk about water element, we're talking about purification and we're talking about healing and we're talking about emotional strength. But first you have to be able to control that emotional strength by going through your emotional downfalls and things like that. So seeing this animal inside of your life can be an omen um, to tell you that you're about to go through experiences inside of your life or you're already experiencing things inside of your life that have to do with you purifying yourself, that have to do with you healing yourself, that have to do with you expressing your emotions and releasing your emotions. If you're the type of person that have been suppressing your emotions and you see seeing frogs a lot, it is telling you that you have to release those emotions, okay, for sure. And another thing that frogs also, you know, talk about or try to tell you when they come into your life is basically, it's about a big change that's going to happen in your life. I would like to call it a transformation and I would actually like to call it a metamorphism because it's not just, okay, I'm transforming into something else. Like you're metamorph, it's a metamorphism. Like you're literally changing your your own algorithm you're changing your thought process you're changing the way you do things you're changing your chain is a big big change inside your life that will affect who you are as a person that will affect how you look at life that will affect your perception on life okay and frogs have this characteristics within them because frogs go from an animal that only lives inside of the water okay frogs basically go from being a fish and all of a sudden they transform, kind of like caterpillars going from caterpillar to a butterfly. All of a sudden they go from being a fish and only swimming in water to being one of earth element that can actually walk on land, but they still stay around with water element. So that is the change that occurs. So it is could be coming into your life to tell you that you need to change something inside of your life, okay? And if you don't change it, it's going to happen. Those changes are gonna happen through a certain type of experience, a certain type of obstacle that you might have to face, or a certain type of thing that you may have to deal with that will um, basically push you towards a healing process that to bring growth and change within yourself and change who you are for the better, okay? And change who you are for your own healing and your own health and your own purification, okay? When you see this animal in your life, you can also see it in a time when your intuition is on a high rise. You can see it at a time when your psychic abilities are really up. You can see it at a time where you feel like you're able to really, you know, align yourself with your seventh chakra and your sixth chakra. You can see it in a time when you're really connected into this energy of just knowing things and just knowing stuff and not really being able to explain what it is or articulate it but really know what's going on a deeper sense of knowing okay so a deeper sense of wisdom but more so intuitive wisdom can occur when you see this animal inside of your life the next thing that the frog can be telling you about inside of your life is that basically you're about to go through an experience or you're in a time of your life when you are needing to basically connect your emotional self and your feelings and your emotions with more practicality. It's about like going through that water element, okay, like the frog does. You're going to go through experience where you're going from emotional sensitivity you know, the, the more lower vibrational 
for lack of better terms, lower vibrational state of water element, characteristics of water element, from having emotional turmoil and being emotional, spor emotionally sporadic and um, maybe even anger or sadness or depression, where your emotions are kind of taking over your life and it's making it so that you're not grounded or you're not really of earth element, you're not practical, you're not able to materialize things. It's about moving from that type of energy to being able to balance yourself emotionally and being able to take your emotions and take what you're feeling and really materialize it and really brighten up your emotions and really have a healthy um, emotions and have healthy ways of feeling and have a healthy ways of healing yourself and being able to actually be more connected with the physical and be more connected with earth element and grounding yourself and grounding your ideas and your feelings and instead of being super emotional with it kind of like how the frog goes through that metamorphism of being a tadpole um, inside of the water to being a frog okay on side of earth on the earth walking or hopping on the earth okay so you know this is deep this is a really 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 big thing to see inside your life if you're seeing an experience with a frog over and over and over again then it's definitely telling you that you are at another level of spiritual advancement and spiritual growth that you're about to go through we're at another level of actually about to get purified and get healing and really experience frog medicine which is going to be healing you okay whether you do Campbell or not just seeing this frog inside your life means that you're about to go through some of these experience if you could just be going through one experience you could be going through all of them you could be going through a few of them but that just comes down to understanding your own personal sacred experience. So it's always important to dive into your own intuition to understand what this animal is trying to tell you. Because on YouTube, on Google, on social media, in books, you'll be able to see what the general meaning is for this animal. But to really understand what this animal is saying inside of your life on a more personal level, it's going to come down to really being able to walk your own shoes and the only person doing that is you so you're going to have to really tap into your own intuition to see okay what is it that that frog is trying to point towards my life needs healing or what is it that the frog is trying to point to my life that i need to change which emotion is it that i need to change which area of my life is it affecting me what is going on okay one of the things you can do is you can actually just let the experience happen and learn from the experience and what occurred and that will also strengthen your intuition because you're learning from through experience, okay? Or you can learn as you're going through the experience itself and actually learn like, okay, what was it that was happening the moment that you're seeing this animal? What's occurring the times that you see this animal? Are you only seeing this animal when you're around a certain person? Are you only seeing this animal when you're doing a certain activity that may be hindering your spiritual growth or that may be hindering your ability to heal yourself or to ground yourself? Are you only seeing this animal when you're drinking alcohol, let's say, and maybe you drink too much alcohol and you're drowning yourself inside of the darker, um, more negative side of you know water element what's going on when you're when you see this animal also pay attention to your thoughts okay and i'm just giving hypothetical examples but pay attention to your thoughts this is actually more um you know tangible what were you thinking about the moment that you saw the animal or what were you thinking about right before you saw the frog because these animals will come inside of your life repeating itself to basically show you something because of your own inner seeking inside of yourself you were seeking some type of answer you were seeking some type of guidance and that may have been on a subconscious level and then you saw the animal and then it came across your path and, and it was trying to tell you so it's trying to answer it was basically a verification of what you're already asking inside of yourself so what was it that you were thinking about the moment before you saw the animal or the moment that you saw the animal? Also, what were you feeling? What is it that you're feeling, okay? 
What were you feeling when you saw the animal? Were you feeling sad? Were you feeling mad? Were you feeling anxious? Were you feeling, how were you feeling? Were you feeling love? Were you feeling bright? To really get a gauge of, you know, what type of feelings this experience will give you and the impact behind it, you know, by paying attention to your own empathic abilities and your own ability to really tap into your intuition. So that's going to be it for this video. Leave a comment below about your experiences with the frog animal. If you want other people to read it, I definitely go through and read the comments and your comment could help somebody else who may be experiencing the same thing as you. Also make sure that you like this video if you're liking it right now. Let me know what you thought about the video. Keep the comments respectful, please. I do not want to debate with anybody about anything. All of my information will be inside the description box below, so make sure that you guys check that out. I will see you guys inside of the next video, so stay tuned. And for now, bye-bye.